Hi, Anwar here. As a keen observer of life's parade, one sees people come and go. One's turn has come as age catches up when one's strength is supposed to wane. Three juicy recent incidents. One, teaching my youngest the nation's principles of unity, explaining the need for mutual respect of culture and traditions of each ethnic group means one has to first know them. To know people, one must mingle. Be curious about each other's way, learn and respect. Two, an old Muslim friend was sent a social media post on religion and docs, where there's free association. And my friend said it's not the correct way. One thinks to respect his side of the story. Three, a chat with friends revealed how mothers are urging their children to marry for riches to be able to live well. As these things are going on in our world, our children are watching as theirs too will one day. Do we teach understanding, respecting, and truly important happiness by sharing our stories? Likewise, how one understands by making friends with others, respects by giving space to the thoughts and mistakes of others, as one is correcting one's not so perfect self, and most critical of all, show by example that courage is not the pressuring of children's minds to see the world the way one sees it. Courage is to let one's own go after one has done the best one can to make each child believe in itself and have faith to climb up the highest peak within their world, their field of livelihood. Give them love enough to question fear. That way, the future will have more of those who care, unite those who may be stopped by fear with all the rest who want a better world for all.